And you thought the narcissist was over you. You thought they no longer had strong emotions about you. You thought they were no longer enthusiastic about you. Maybe they just left you at the end of the relationship. They made you believe that they were over you. And then they just disappeared. You didn't hear from them for a while. During that time they were grooming another source of supply. They were love bombing them. They were getting attention and admiration. Maybe money or a place to stay. They were getting something out of it. So they didn't need you at that time. They may have forgotten about you. But the cycle always repeats itself. It's only a matter of time until the narcissist devalues the new source. Just as they did with you, they begin to see the new source as being faulty or imperfect. They're no longer satisfied with the new source. They get bored. They become disinterested. And this is when they will often hoover old sources of supply. They will re-idealize you. They will see you as this ideal character again. This person who is everything that they need. And they will do whatever it takes to get your attention again. Just when you thought they were over you. Just when you had started to heal and move on from this. That is when they will often come back. That is when they will often hoover you. It's not because they're emotionally attached to you. It's not because they desire to have a relationship with you. It's all about supply. They want your attention and admiration. They want your money or a place to stay. But they have nothing to bring to the table. They have nothing to share with you. Other than manipulation, lies and future faking. When the narcissist was love bombing you. They invested all of their time and energy into you. Which caused them to get bored of you very quickly. It caused them to become desensitized to you. They got used to you very quickly. And they then began to devalue you. They saw it as though you couldn't satisfy them. Because in the narcissist's mind, you exist to serve them. You exist to provide them with constant entertainment. And if you can't do that, then something must be wrong with you. But whether you think they're deserving of this treatment or not, they're still going to see you as a fool. They're still going to see you as someone who has made a very unwise decision. But the longer you spend around them, the faster they get bored of you. The faster they no longer desire to be around you. Or if they do want to be around you. It's only because there's something in it for them. 
And even then, they're not going to respect you. They're not going to appreciate anything you do for them. All they care about is supply. They lack empathy. They have no consideration for you. They don't really value anything you do for them. Because they never had to earn it. They never had to work for it. They manipulated their way into that position by lying and using future faking. By being arrogant and acting entitled. Making you believe that they were deserving of it. Because that's how they get what they want. They have to manipulate their way into these positions. They have to trick people. They have to give you a false impression. And then it's only a matter of time until you realize what you're really dealing with. Because they can't sustain this character for long. They have these insatiable desires. They demand all of your time and attention until you have nothing left to give. And when you can no longer sustain their false character, that is when you will see who they really are. Once you've seen who the narcissist really is and what they're really capable of, you're never going to see them in the same way again. And deep down they know this. They might still remain around you. But that's only if they're getting something out of it. Once they got what they need. They're just going to throw you under the bus. They're just going to toss you aside. Like you never meant anything to them. And then they're going to find someone else. They're going to find someone who doesn't know what they're really about. They're going to find someone else who they can use. But the same thing is going to happen again. Because most people cannot sustain a relationship with someone who is so conflicting. Someone who always has to force their opinions onto you. Someone who always has to has things their way. Most people do not want to deal with that. They want to be around someone who is more relaxed and agreeable. Someone who is able to work with them rather than always being in opposition to them. So it's inevitable for the narcissist to sustain a relationship for a long period of time. It's destined to fail. And when it ends, the narcissist will often return to all sources of supply. You may think that they were over you. You may think that they had moved on. But they will come back. Despite everything that happened. As though you are somehow still compatible. As though you are meant to be together. And they will try to manipulate you into seeing things this way. But it's not because they love or care about you. It's not because they finally realise what they did wrong. They will avoid discussing anything that has to do with their faults or mistakes. Because all they really care about is getting what they want. And the only reason why a narcissist would ever be around you is because you have what they want. They're not coming back for a reciprocal motive. They just see you as an object. They just see you as something that exists to meet their needs. But they realize that you have the ability to think for yourself. They realize that you have the ability to make your own decisions. They realize that you have free will. So they understand that they have to manipulate you. 
They understand that they have to trick you into giving them what they want. And that is why they return with the brainwashing. They return with the love bombing phase. Which is designed to fool you. It's designed to go around your logic and reasoning. By making you emotional. By making you develop real feelings for something that is non-existent. Something that isn't even real. Because they can't feel anything for you. But your feelings give them supply. And it's almost like they experience those feelings vicariously through you. But it isn't real for them. It will never be real. Which is why they can change so quickly. Which is why they can go from being this kind, friendly character to being mean and disagreeable in an instant. Because they lack emotional depth. There's no fixed personality inside of them. They will be whatever they think will get them what they want. It's like a child who wants their parents to buy them a new toy. They might try being nice at first, but if that doesn't work, they will get very angry. They will throw a temper tantrum. Because they think that will make you cave in and give them what they want. But the narcissist is neither the nice or the angry character. They are whatever they think will get them what they want. Which is why when they return to you, they will try being nice again. Until you realise again that you're being fooled. Until you realise that they're bringing nothing to the table. And that is when they will go back to dominating and controlling you. They will even threaten to leave you again. They will do whatever they think will get them what they want. Because that's all that really matters to them. And as long as you have something to give to them, they're never over you. They will keep coming back. It's only when you close that door that they realise they can't fool you anymore. They just see it as though you're smart. You're on to them. But as long as they think they can get back in, they will keep trying. They will keep popping up in your life again. As long as you still believe in them. As long as you think the nice character is real. Or as long as you let them dominate and control you. You have the power in this situation. You have the ability to decide when this is over. But as long as you have what the narcissist wants, they just can't resist. They can't help themselves. They will keep coming back. It's up to you to shut that door and move on without them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.